Today's the day I become a professional disc golfer. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Professional disc golfer. One of these guys. The guys at the top of our craft. The best of the best. Absolute legends. Hey Siri, can you tell me what the definition of a professional disc golfer is? Someone who can't compete in real ball golf. Okay, that's definitely not it. Pro disc golfer is defined as someone who plays disc golf and earns money from it. That means I need to make some money playing disc golf. Five bucks an ace, five bucks an ace. No, not like that. Then how? Playing the biggest tournament of your life. The tournament that could put you on the pro tour. The tour finale. I like it. So I flew down to Florida, put my game pace on, and readied myself to become a professional disc golfer by cashing at a huge tournament. Okay, round one. Actually, that wasn't round one. That was round two. Let's rewind a second. About to tee off, pretty nervous. Don't know how I made the feature card, but I'm on the feature card. Not much footage for round one because my camera woman, my wife, my wife, her flight doesn't get in till tonight. So we'll just do a recap. I forgot to do a recap, but here's some footage that I got of myself mid round. Round one did not go well. Back to the present. Okay, round one, shot plus four. Not what I wanted at all. Not a very good showing by me. A lot of mental errors, a lot of mistakes. But this is probably the biggest tournament I've ever played in, so I'm not that upset about it. Yeah, it's definitely the biggest tournament I've ever played. It's the dang tour finale. Allow me to explain. Back in early 2023, I won an NADGT qualifier in MA2, which qualified me for the Amateur Disc Golf National Championships. It's a mouthful, I know. So I played that back in November. I got second out of 258. Pretty good. We gotta get that one slot one day. That was enough to qualify me for this tournament, the Tour Finale. A four round tournament intended to help amateurs take their very first step into the professional disc golf world by either accepting cash or winning the highly sought after tour card, which grants access to the disc golf pro tour. This past year, they only sent out 85 invites to the tour finale out of over 15,000 people that played in the NADGT events. I'm one of 85 people that can make the jump from amateur to pro just like that. So yeah. It's the biggest tournament of my life. And since I played so horrendously round one, right now we're just trying to get back into the cash. Okay, round two, let's get it. Oh, sir, there's a disc golf tournament going on. I started round two in the deficit, sitting 31st out of 36 players. Not where I wanna be. But before round two, my wife brought me a secret weapon. Something I didn't have round one. I think these have already dropped. If there's still some, you should go get some. They're pretty sick. Hopefully they can help me save a few strokes out there. This is a hole I want to birdie every day. After that approach, I'm gonna have to rely on the moon boots. Let's see what they're made of. I take full responsibility for that putt. That's not on the disc, that's on me. I did really need that birdie though, because I have a side quest during round two. That's oh, perfect, yeah. man. Sit right there. The side quest, catching my nemesis, Kyle. Kyle played with me at nationals and also qualified for the tour finale. I thought he was cool. Until he left this comment on my video. Ignore this first part, it's a facade. This is the part that matters. I have to beat him. Round one, he shot even. And he started round two playing pretty good as well. I need to get some birdies. Oh, well done, in the back. Skin of your teeth. <laughs> that was huge, but I'm still five strokes behind him. Let's get moving. Oh. Kyle parred this hole. I had the moon boots, so I birdied. Back up to 75%. <laughs> Three for four. Not a four. Oh, it did not get left. No ground made up on this one. This hole is monstrous, so I wasn't expecting a birdie. But neither was Kyle. So I stole Drop. a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. We're making up ground slowly. That's what this dish does. One for one jumpers. This is when I turned it on. Another stroke made up. And this is a really hard hole. Get down, Miss it. Maybe Kyle messed it up. I sure didn't. Yeah. 
With that putt, I overtook him. He had struggled on the last few holes and I had birdied them all, but there's quite a lot of disc golf left. I have to hold it together. Go through. Kyle was struggling. I just need some pars. And pars are something that I know quite well. But I'm also becoming acquainted with birdies. Get now. Yes. Wow. Oh, the roll. Oh my gosh. Woo. I was like, man, I, I put too much anti. It's done. My lead on Kyle is growing. I'm shooting insanely well. It feels like nothing can stop me. But that's not going to last long. What a terrible putt. The finishing holes down the stretch are brutal. Day one, I shot a collective four over on the final five holes. Hopefully I can hold my lead on Kyle and finish out my solid round strong. I need to prove his comment wrong. Hole 15 is the longest hole on the course. The first two shots I threw weren't bad, but they were par at best. However, this shot was poor. I did get incredibly lucky though. That was my very first bogey of the round. Luckily, Kyle bogeyed too. With that hole out of the way, I thought I could chill. Turn. I could not chill. What? Oh. Why am I so weak? Kyle did the same thing though. I then proceeded to par hole 16, which Kyle matched. Then I parred hole 17 as well. Kyle did not. It was looking like I was gonna win this battle pretty easily, but you guys know I have trouble with hole 18s. So I'm incredibly nervous standing on this team, especially since I know I'm shooting a pretty solid round and beating my nemesis Kyle. Can I finish it out? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Come back. This shot left me short of the Mando. I pitched around it, then just laid up for my par. Pretty simple, or so I thought. Negative four on the round and beating Kyle by nine strokes. I won the battle this time, Kyle, but I'm sure we'll have many more. All right. Negative four was the goal. I shot negative four. I kind of tanked at the end, took those three bogeys. I'm not mad about it. The back is the hardest part, but if I get pars there, you know, I'm way farther up in the leaderboard. I jumped 10 spots, so I'm only a couple spots out of cash now. So just a couple more under par rounds and I'll be right in the cash, right in the mix, honestly. I'm gonna keep round three short and sweet because round four gets crazy. I do have a few goals for round three though. Day three, moving day. I'm excited. I'm like two strokes out of cash right now. So my goal for today is to get back in cash. I think if I shoot another negative four, I'll be in the cash. Hole 18 is my nemesis. I've bogeyed it both days. I'm getting hole 18 today. That's my goal. Birdie or par? I need to make up for the bogeys I've taken on it. Hole 15, the island hole, is also my nemesis. I've missed the island both days. I've made the mando and missed the island both days. Don't count me out yet, especially with these amazing putters that make all their jump putts. Also, I forgot I'm wearing the yellow pants. Like I said, I would in the other video. Can't stop a guy in yellow pants, can ya? Yellow pants guy, let's go. These are my goals for round three. I did a pretty good job accomplishing them. I'll stick to the highlights. Through the first 14 holes, I had four birdies and two bogeys, putting me at negative two, which is pretty respectable considering the windy conditions. Yeah! That putt took me into hole 15, the island hole. I need to stick it. Nice. Putting me at negative three on the nice. race. I just need one more birdie on hole 18.
Okay, never mind. Can't shoot negative four anymore. But I can meet my other goals. So I hunkered down and attempted to play hole 18 as safe as possible. That left me with this simple upshot for par. Oh! oh. I for sure wasn't trying to do that. I was not trying to do that. That was an absolutely electric way to end my third round. I moved up a few spots. I'm right on the edge of cash. So all I have to do tomorrow is just probably shoot even to a couple under par. Yellow pants did me, did me good. Shot 994. These pants are thousand rated. Supposedly the conditions tomorrow are gonna be horrible. And I don't have an umbrella or anything to stay dry, so it's gonna get rough out there. 40 minutes till tea. Regardless of the weather, I still need to warm up. While I'm doing that, allow me to explain something real quick. The cash, the group of players who receive money at a tournament for how they perform. It's typically the top 40%. Since there are 36 players in this tournament, I need to be in 14th place to cash. I'm in 15th. With some simple math, that means I need to move up at least one spot to be in the cash. If I can stay under par, I think I'll be able to cash and become a professional disc golfer, which is pretty sick. Yeah, and yeah. since I knew that this rain was gonna be relentless, we came up with some engineering that excites. <laughs> Innovation that excites. <laughs> it was the only hope I had for keeping my discs dry. All I could think before this putt is pars just aren't going to cut it. But a par is go. better than a bogey. This is the hole that I thought I should birdie every single day. I've only birdied it once. I do have a bit of an excuse today, though. Sit. Sit. But I still really want that birdie. Mm. Not birdieing that hole was pretty demoralizing. And since I was demoralized, the rain decided to really start coming down at that point. I just felt like I wasn't throwing very bad, but I couldn't seem to capitalize. I was also soaked and freezing on top of that. Not really anywhere to hide from the rain. It's so cold and so rainy. I'm soaked to the core. This is all wet. Whew. and the par started to pile up. But like I said, it was raining and par is better than both. But maybe we can get something going here. Come on. Sit. Well, actually, not on this hole. I didn't birdie this hole the entire weekend. Coming down now. Coming. Full, though? Yes. I took my par and moved on to hole five. A hole that I've been throwing very well all weekend, but haven't snagged the birdie yet. Now would definitely be the time. Yes! Jamie Lee Jumper! All right, got a birdie on a hole I haven't gotten a birdie on before, so that's pretty nice. 13 more holes of golf. Let's just try to survive. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty brutal. Might lose my pants by the time this is over. These are real thick and real soaked. You can see the dry area. <laughs> Probably have a pound of weight on me. A couple pounds. Nice of water. The next two holes, I miss some opportunities. Hole six, I biffed my upshot and took a par. Hole seven, deja vu. I did the exact same thing. After those two, I came into the hardest hole on the course, hole eight, averaging almost a whole stroke over par. It 
780 feet, meaning you have to throw two bombs to reach it for burn. Scary shot It also has Taito B on both sides. Come back, come back. Yes, sir! Somehow, I was one of four birdies on the day. Yes! Oh. yes sir. Things were looking up. Yes. A bogey on back-to-back -back holes. You think I'd be mad? <laughs> Something I had to learn about myself quite early in competitive disc golf is that if I take myself too seriously, then I won't have fun and I won't play well. This doesn't work for everyone, but it works for me because coming down the final stretch of holes, I wasn't really worried about caching anymore. I was having an absolute blast on the course, playing with some really cool guys in some laughable conditions, cultivating lasting memories and friendships. And recently I've realized that that's what all of disc golf is about for me, having fun with the homies. And as you can tell, that mindset seemed to take over because my plays settled down on the hardest stretch of holes. Yes, sir! What is that, three out of four? At this point, I was a negative one with five holes to play. All I needed to do was par out. Hole 14? Drop in there. Par. Hole 15? Par. Hole 16? Stole a nice little birdie, honestly. Hole 17. I stuck it. Just need to take my par. Take a par on 18, and I think I cash. Another par. And coming into hole 18, I was sitting pretty comfortably in the cash. But you guys know I have trouble on hole 18. Let's make it more suspenseful. Alright, an upshot and a putt away from being a professional disc golfer. Let's go. I think I really like sit. No. Okay guys. I have to make that putt right there. And I'll cash. Make some money. Be a professional disc golfer. I cash making $525 and officially becoming a professional disc golfer. Yeah. And all I could feel was just a ton of gratitude. I want to be here without my wife, without God, without the support from Armory, and without you guys. I love making videos about disc golf. And it's only going to get bigger from here. So, if I can subscribe perhaps? I'll win it next time.